It can be confusing to be offered a medicine that's different to the one that you've been using, only to be told it's actually the same. Well, as part of the Be Medicine Wise campaign, I'm joined this morning by Dr Danielle Stovesser from NPS at Roy Young in Chatswood. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning, Karen. Different brands can be confusing. Absolutely. We're at the doctors, we get our prescription, and then by the time we get to the pharmacy, we're actually offered a different brand. The important thing is the active ingredient. That's the component that makes the medicine work. So all medicines have two names, the active ingredient and the brand name. And that's the same for medicine you get from your supermarket, your local pharmacy or on prescription. Okay, can you give me an example? An example it would be paracetamol, a pain relieving medicine that's in things like Panadol and Dimadon, mm -hmm. in um, Heron brand and also in Panamax. So it's like different brands of tomato sauce that you might get in the supermarket? With tomato sauce, um, you can have the active ingredient, which are tomatoes, and then the brands might be Heinz or Rosella. Okay, so let's talk generic brands. We hear a lot about them. What are they and are they the same? When a chemical is first released, um, it would have an originator brand name. Mm -hmm. Then when that patent expires, other manufacturers can release a brand oh. and they're called the generic brands. Okay, so if the ingredients are the same, is it okay to switch at any time? The pharmacist will give you a choice if the medicines are bioequivalent. So that means they've got the same active ingredient and they work the same way. So they have the same benefits and the same side effects. So you need to check with your doctor or pharmacist. But often the medicines themselves can look quite different as well, can't they? The manufacturers, by law, must make them look different so that they cover different patents. It's actually the excipients that make them look different. So that's the fillers or the binders or the coatings that are on the medicines. They okay. make it easier to swallow or to absorb. Okay, so are these different excipients important? In most cases it doesn't matter, but if you've got something like a lactose intolerance or gluten intolerance, you might need to check with your pharmacist. Can any brand of medication be switched? Uh, in most cases, yes, they can. Although there are a few specific ones where you can't and your pharmacist will be able to let you know that. Now what if I'm on a lot of medications, is it still okay to switch over? Sometimes it can be a bit confusing if you've mm. got to remember multiple names. So again if you're not sure, check with your doctor or pharmacist and keep a list of all those medicines. Great. So what are some of the important things to remember? So the most important thing is the active ingredient. That's what makes your medicine work and to keep a list if you're not sure. Well thank you so much for joining us today. It's been great to help us and certainly it has helped me to be more medicine wise. Now if you'd like more information jump onto the website nps.org.au. Guys back over to you.